For the first time ever, BTC Fight Promotions makes its way to Windsor, Ontario. Home to the newly crowned BTC Super Lightweight Champion, Kyle Preplek. Preplek prepares to defend his belt for the first time against 32 fight veteran, Curtis Demars. BTC Super Lightweight Champion, my name's Kyle Preplek, fighting out of Maximum Training Center in Windsor, Ontario. Outside the sport, I put everything in there, and I think I sacrifice, you know, not only a lot of my time here, but it's it's a love for the sport, and I don't think anyone, you know, loves it more than I do. Day in and day out, I'm here training with all these crazy athletes, like another few of my teammates, like Joe Pettigrew and TJ. We all work together, and we all have the same goal, you know, and we're all working hard and feeding off each other to be the best that we could possibly be, and then eventually get to that worldwide stage and show what we're made of. With Reno, you know, he's not only like a father figure of this gym, he's what puts us all together in our one big dysfunctional family of all of us with all our, you know, like me, TJ, Joe, Shane, all those guys. And, you know, Reno just, it, he just, you know, feeds us what we what we need, you know, the proper training, the proper attention, you know, the spotlight's on, the spotlight's on for all of us, you know, like we all work together. And so, like I said, it's, it's a family, you know, and uh, we're all nurtured in our, in our ways to strive and become the best we could be and he looks out for us first and he puts himself second and that's you know he dedicates a lot of time to this gym and all of us so you know it's it's greatly appreciated and the best thing we can do is just work hard and do our best not only for ourselves but for him as well training's going real good floating at a nice low weight and uh what you saw with the pads you know we're just flowing really nice and timing's just only getting sharper and better my my cardio my strength my athleticism just keeps increasing and you know, we're working smarter and working hard. We're not overdoing it and, you know, everything's all about the timing and we're getting that timing down. Uh, I would say my style is more of a uh, striker, but don't sleep on the ground game either, right? Because I just like to stand and throw down, but my, my ground game is just as good as my striking too, so. Especially with all the training I do in the States as well, training with the guys at Michigan Top Team and then, you know, doing our, you know, doghouse rounds here with our wrestling, our constant drilling, and then over to Michigan Top Team with all those animals there. Cody Stamen, Jason Fisher, Krukshank. But yeah, working with all these guys and all these upcoming athletes, and then all those other animals at Michigan Top Team, and then we're cross training in London sometimes, you know, so we got all those guys too. In Kyle's promotional debut, he got a shot at the BTC Super Lightweight title. So, last fight against Scott, you know, he's a tough adversary, and uh, you know, I've, I'd watch him and same, we'd always fight on the same card and, you know, I'd always get to see like what he would do and he'd always come back and strive and I'm just like, man, this guy's a big 155-er, he always comes back, he's super strong, athletic and fighter. Door is closed, championship belt about to get underway. I knew one day me and him were going to fight and then sure enough, last summer me and him had to fight and uh, I had to bring my A game and he brought his A game and me and him, you know, talked after and he was just saying, you know, we worked in camp just the pack three way because he has the range and you know he's got long legs, strong kicks and yeah. nice body kick by Hudson. Yeah. Straight right follow. Oh. After you know I kind of closed the gap and you know working on the out step in step, I was able to time one of the kicks even though he blocked it just to keep him up against the cage and just you know throw a looping hook and straight through center and then short little brawl to get that takedown to make him, you know, think, where am I going? You know, he, he was just striking, now he's on the ground, now he's doing this, now he's doing that. And then, you know, I tried, uh, you know, taking his back and just, you know, ground and pounding to try to finish it. And then I heard the time and I was like, all right, I'll try and just do as much damage or try to get a choke and full mount, but we ran out of time. And... Wow! Oh, what what a round one! I just had to make sure I capitalized the second round, which I did, just to keep that pressure and that momentum going. Oh, and a Ooh, big uppercut! Big up Round Hudson's kick! Hudson's, Hudson's in big, big trouble! I was able to, you know, implement my game plan. Nice body shot by Pope, like an elbow inside. And, you know, put the pressure in slowly, 
try to pinpoint every shot I could make. Beautiful job by Kyle Prepelik. Roplex doing a good job of not rushing in, he's picking his shots. And uh, slowly break him. And I was able to uh, capitalize on all the mistakes he made and, you know, make sure I covered mine. It is Kyle Prepelik storming Hudson. And it pays off as he gets the victory and the 165 pound championship. In his return to the cage, BTC super lightweight champion Kyle Prepelak will face off against veteran Curtis DeMars. I know he's a journeyman too, like he's like 18, 14. I just know he's a journeyman, so he's he's been through the you know 32 fights, and who knows how much he's at amateur. He's that's a journeyman, man. So it's uh he's a dangerous he's a dangerous opponent, you know, lots of fights. So it's like I know he'll be adverse, but it's how much is he willing to take at this point for where he's at? I know he's you know trying to use me to get where he needs to be, but I gotta worry about myself and get past him and just, you know, I just gotta go in and destroy everyone that's in my path. To fight in uh, my hometown in Windsor, it's, it's a, like I said, a great privilege. I'm not too phased by the pressure, if anything, gives me more energy. Yeah, a little more anxiety, but I use that as a positive, like, reinforcement to give me that extra boost for training, to fight harder, fight stronger, have more heart and, you know, just uh, that overall aspect to become even better than what I was in my last fight because I'm always trying to change it up and be the best that I can be at that day, at that time. Be that perfect athlete and mixed martial artist. So I think it's, uh, like I said, awesome privilege to fight in my hometown. But BTC5, Typhoon, Windsor and Central Park Athletic Arena, everyone in Windsor, come out and watch, you know, support us. You know, it's, it's me, TJ, Joe, a lot of local talent. You know, we're exciting fighters, you know, we're all chasing the dream and, you know, we're one step closer. It's not often you get to see us fight in our hometown and you know now it's here right in your backyard so extra exciting for you guys.